Okay, uh, here we are. <clears throat> About 14 hours after I uh, set the pile up, <clears throat> fan had just started. Uh, it's blowing air through these pipes to the uh, pile. Uh, one pile here is about uh, a little over 300 yards in each setup that I do. Uh, we leave the pipes here about five foot from the manifold. Uh, just for ease of pulling the pipes out, we wrap a chain around them, pull them out with a loader. Uh, then you, you don't risk damaging the pipes when you're digging into them and it's just a lot easier that way. Um, when I set up the pile yesterday, the, the pile was about 140 degrees. Uh, this year uh, we are looking at about 160 degrees here. And that's 14 hours after initial setup. I guess almost two days because I set it up the day before. Uh, this one here, about 170, so you can see the importance of trying to get your mixture consistent when you set it up. And this, this one here is even a little lower. We're at 150, so we're all, we're all good on our temperatures. We're over the 131, and we're going to be killing off all the weed seeds. Uh, however, you know, if you weren't getting your C to N ratio just right, you could be way off um, just 10 feet away in your pile. So I've got three temperature uh, <clears throat> three thermometers here in this pile and they're spread out about 15 feet apart and you can see the difference in temperature just that far apart. So here we are in the end. Still I've got some piping sticking out. So I can wrap my chain and pull it out. Some logs sneak in there. Uh, this is just a basic setup. It's very easy. It's simple as long as you have a loader that will, uh, you know, reach the height that you need. I guess you don't need, really need the height, but you end up getting more on there, more production. Fan had just shut down. Here's the other side of the pile. We have a clean out here, so in case uh, you get a lot of wet weather, and we are on a, a slight slope back towards the manifold, probably only just a few degrees of a slope, but we set it up this way so in case there was any kind of leachate leaching back into the manifold, we would be able to open it up, uh, inspect to see how much leachate's in there. Uh, so far, we've never had a problem uh, with leachate. The uh, leachate, at one point, we saw coming out the bottom corner here of this pile, uh, like the first or second batch that we ever made. And what we did was we just turned the timer on about two more minutes per cycle. So, and it dried it right up. So, again, here's the aeration method completely set up 14 hours after initial setup and we are at a well the highest temperature was 170 degrees so uh, we are going to have to monitor that and make sure it doesn't get any higher but 14 hours 170 degrees and after four weeks no matter what the temperature is we're gonna we're gonna rip it down and do it all over again um, however, I do have other fans here, and I'm going to be setting up another pile right next to it. So it's going to be this times three, and that'll be our full operation. I uh, hope you guys uh, get information that you need out of this. Any questions, let me know. Thanks.